In this movie, we're going to talk about adding tables. Again, we're modifying the report now to show us more information than we had previously. Now, we all know how to insert fields and move them and position them and size them correctly, or however you feel you need to size them. But what happens if there's a field you need to pull into the report now, but it's not in your initial list? In this case, we need to add a table. Go up to the database menu and click. The very first choice is the database expert. Go ahead and click that. This pulls up a window you're familiar with because you've now seen the report wizard numerous times and can recognize this right away. If you're not already connected, you simely make a new connection, either direct access, ODBC as you see fit, and add the table that you're missing. In this case, we're missing the customer table, and we pull it in. Now, you're still not done because Crystal, again, does not automatically attach things for you correctly. Now, notice I said correctly. It will try and auto-connect things. Sometimes it kind of misses its mark. For example, if we look at these here, it's taken the new customer table and linked on fields that were spelled identically in each of the tables. Unfortunately, this is not going to help us because these are the city, state, and zip of the office locations versus the actual customer locations. Chances of matching are slim to none. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on each link and press the delete key. From here, I'm going to leave my original link between office and revenue transaction and now go about joining the revenue transaction to the client. Choose client number and attach it to client num of the customer table. Once you've done this, you now feel free to press OK. It'll ask me to refresh and I'll say OK. And from here, I can go to my view, field explorer, and now I have customer table in addition to my office and revenue transaction tables, all via the database expert. From there, I can choose any field now in the customer table. I can scroll over and choose to put client onto the canvas of my report. Now, once you pull a new field on, the database must refresh itself, especially if it wasn't there before. From there, you can use whatever formatting techniques you learned or put it in whatever order you see fit. Keep in mind, once you go to the database expert and pull in a table, for you beginners out there, you must join them on hopefully the correct key. But in any case, join them on something. It must be joined. Under no circumstances, pull up two tables without joining them.